yourself and your experience as a teacher. Wow. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I've been a teacher here at Central for 33 years and 28 years here at Roundtown. So I've had quite a nice experience. You can imagine being in the best school anywhere for that long. I've taught grades first, second, and third at Roundtown, old and new. And I've also taught uh, Chapter 1 Math, which is a remedial math program through for uh, grades first through sixth. So I've had a lot of different grades. And a lot of people ask me, what's my favorite grade? And it happens to be whatever grade I'm in. I've really enjoyed a lot. What did you what did you like about the old round town? I liked every bit of it, every square inch of it. It was a wonderful building. But it, what's really funny is when I first moved to York many years ago, I came here to student teach at Stony Brook, and a friend of mine was taking me for a ride of the Central York School District, and we drove past Round Town. And I said, oh, thank goodness, I don't have to teach there in that old school. And it happened to be that I did end up teaching there in second grade of my first year of teaching and found out that it was a beautiful building. It had old wooden floors, slate boards, not like our whiteboards. There was only one room, one grade per room, or per there was one teacher per grade, and it was grades one through six. So I was the only second grade teacher. So I knew all the children in that building, grades one through six. That was really wonderful to know that. I knew all the teachers. They were my friends. We had a very small cafeteria, which was also our gym. So most of the phys ed classes were outside when it was nice. That was fun. We always left our doors open. It was sort of a noisy building because there was no carpet. There wasn't any air conditioning. Um, but it was still a lovely little building, and I loved it. What are some of your favorite round town, old round town memories? Uh, some of my favorite memories from the old round town, um, I would have to say, were our school-wide performances. A lot of times uh, in our big school here, you get together as a grade level and you do things. Like third grade, I believe you'll have a biography night. Uh, we used to have a holiday show where grades one through six practice together in that little gym. And all the parents would come and watch the students perform all together. It was a big musical production, <laughs> which we spent many, many weeks practicing. So that was fun. And I loved recess because the playground is where our school is right here. It was big, really big. And we played four square. We played softball. It was a lot different. We had swings big swings, big slides, those tall ones, seesaws, it was very different. What do you like about the new building? Well, when you uh, look around our building and when new people come to our building, they always go, wow. We have nice carpeting, the classes are really large, we have a lot of space. Um, each of the hallways, and although I don't think your third grade hallway has a um, center for you to meet, but first grade and second grade have a meeting area where we can all get together. That's really nice. We have a great big cafeteria and a gym. That's really nice. But I think our nicest spot is the library. What special celebrations did you have and how are they how have they changed over the years? Special celebrations and how they've changed. In the old round town we had what was called Founders Day. And I think that was probably the founding of Round Town. 
and that was awesome. It was like what we have today, our social, our ice cream social, mm -hmm. and our art gallery, which is really nice now. But way back then, um, Founders Day, the teachers were honored, and the PTO members would get together, and they would put on a skit, a play for the teachers. And they would put on a dinner for the teachers. We were served dinner, and, but all the families would come. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but the social now is a nice gathering too, with all the ice cream sundaes, and the art gallery is so nice to see everybody's artwork. So it has grown to be a very nice event also. How have the school lunches changed over the years? Well, they've always been really good. <laughs> um, we've had different cooks that have been at Roundtown, which have always been very accommodating. They try their best to make uh, good food, good lunches for all the kids. Um, I can't say they've changed a lot, although we don't have hot dogs anymore. And we don't get fudge. We used to have peanut butter fudge. And I'm trying to think of some of our other favorite things that we don't get it. We still get pizza. Chicken nuggets seems to be the favorite item now, which wasn't a real popular item when I first started teaching. Is there anything else you would like to share with us? Well, I just feel real fortunate to be have taught here at Roundtown all these years. I've had a lot of really nice students. Now I'm starting to get students that I had uh, their daddies. I have two this year that I had their daddies in the old Brown Town. And I've had some others. Um, and that makes it really special. So that, uh, staying here that long in one place makes um, me feel very fortunate. 